Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing this um, little arrangement of lovely goodies. So we're going to start by doing the little cupcakes on the top. I'm going to be using my um, Stedler pencils today. So I'm going to start with the cupcake cases and I'm going to use number 29 which is the bright red and I'm going to do them red and white striped. I think that's quite cute. Um, some people might prefer pink and white but I like red and white cases. It might look a bit Christmassy but hey ho. I haven't um, worried about shading there, it's just a red and white stripe. Now the cakes themselves, I'm thinking you might have white icing but as we've already got white that's not particularly good so I think we'll do a pink, a bit of a pink topping, um, number 25. And we'll just go do a gentle pink icing over the cakes. really worrying about shading at the moment. I'll show you what I'm going to do in a minute because the cakes are rounded. I'm going to put a little bit more around the edges to try and just give the impression that they're spherical and then a little bit under the um, those bits on the top which I haven't decided what they are yet. It could be cherries could be mm, sweets. I think I'm going to do them as a silver sweet. So, hmm, which silver? I think which grey? I mean, I think this lighter grey would be the way to go. The number 80. And I'm going to try to make them darker around the edge and then lighter in the middle. as I can and we'll um, do a little blob of highlight on that later. Now the next row, I'm trying to work out what these are. Are they little square sandwiches? Are they little square cakes? I'm thinking they're probably sandwiches and if they are then the colour's going to be quite pale. In fact we'll have a crust won't we? So I'm going to actually not use that one going to use number 49 to try and do where's the crust going to be so you usually cut the crust off on a I think we'll just go for it we'll just shade them in and then see how we can develop them now if that's bread that's brown bread usually we'll have white on a afternoon tea but I think it doesn't matter. If it's a sandwich and it's facing us, where's the crust going to be? I can't imagine. What's going? The crust wouldn't be there, would it? Would it be there? Oh, sure, what's wrong with me? Why can't I imagine what a sandwich looks like? I think I'm going to make it cake. <laughs> I don't have to imagine what a sandwich looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this pinky red colour number 23 and put some jam here it still could be a jam sandwich couldn't it but it's either a jam sandwich or a slice of jammy cake um, put a bit on that one oh we've gone on the cake some a bit there there they are yeah, that'll do, won't it? I think that. Now these, I thought, looked look like scones. My husband said he thought they were macarons. Now macarons come in all sorts of cool colours, so I think I'm going to make them macarons. So we're going to start with this sort of violety colour for a few of them. They come in all sorts of pretty colours. I wonder what colour... He's done a bit of this page. I'm curious to know what colour he did his, whether he did them all the same or he did them different colours. 
I'm going to do a sort of mix. So we've got those violety ones, and then I'm going to do some pink in the number 20. Uh, I'll do one here. Here and then what colour for the others? Um, I think maybe a dark purple colour. I don't know why. Number six. It's going to look blue. Got to say, I'm not not a big fan of macarons, but. There we go. Really fussy when it comes to cakes and things. Carrot cake, yum. Right, now the cake stand. What colour are we going to do it? Now we could choose to do it a silvery colour, so it looks like it's made of silver or glassy, but I think we'll actually do it a colour. I'm thinking blue could look work quite well. I'm thinking this blue will do. Now for the ring part of the top I'm going to make it darker here and lighten it up towards the top so there's hardly any. So it looks a little bit shiny because I'm thinking usually these are um, china so they might be shiny although the poles are usually um, metal but ours isn't going to be. So heavy pressure here and then less towards the middle. And the same on this side. And here and here. So try to leave a bit of white. There and just the same on each one. It's so a heavy pressure on the outside, lighter towards the middle. Here, so heavy on the edge, lighter as we move in. There we go. Now, I am thinking about um, some highlights. I've got my white pen and I'm going to do some on these. On these, just a dot. Just to hopefully make those look a little bit more shiny. I don't think our whatever jam sandwich slash sponge cake slices, but these have dots across the middle and I'm tempted to just do them white. It's just a bit of fun really. Add a little highlight. And then we're done. They've gone all wonky. There we go. It's because the page keeps moving. But there we are. There's our um, little um, afternoon tea stack, I suppose. So uh, that's that. So thank you very much for watching. It's a little short one today, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, happy colouring. <laughs>